All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over the third version of my swivel wire cap used for a modified trolling motor. Now, the purpose of this wire cap is to relieve the strain on the wiring coming out of the shaft during turning maneuvers. And this is also the easiest and less expensive version that I've done. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'll be using in this project. This is an Orbit swivel connector. It's a three quarter inch female thread to a one half inch male thread. This is a Rainbird 90 and it's a three quarter inch female to a three quarter inch male. And this is a three quarter inch gland nut. So the way it's going to be put together is you'll have your swivel, you'll take the male three-quarter of the 90 and attach it here, and then of course you'll take the three-quarter and put it in here and you run your wiring through there. Now I do want to bring up this part right here. This is going to slide into a standard trolling motor shaft and this is one and one eighth inch diameter section of a shaft and as you can tell it doesn't slide in because of these ridges so if you lightly sand or just file the ridges down until it's small enough and it will slide into the shaft and then you can attach it in there using either some kind of adhesive or even some silicone sealant and then everything will fit together. I wanted to mention a couple of things about this project. First, this slip-in swivel. I didn't even know that you could get a part like this and I happened to be in another box store and found it and that made this whole project much easier with the least amount of parts because then I also found this Rainburn 90 that was already black obviously and so is the gland nut that screws in perfectly with the Rainbird piece. So the only piece I really needed to paint was the slip in and that should make this last and look better much longer. First I'm going to do an overall view of the swivel cap as the motor is turning and everything's powered up and ready to go. Okay, looks good, so I'll do a close-up so you can get a better look at it. This is a front view of the swivel cap when it's being used, and I've already turned on my ESC and powered up my remote, so I'm going to go ahead and test it. So it works like it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.